you guys are the first people that have ever got to look inside these walls. Long hallways with bedroom after bedroom separated by heavy doors and thick walls. And you go through walls that are one foot thick all the way around with soundproofing all the way around. And Expensive carpeting covers the floor and halfway up the walls with custom wood molding throughout, even in the garage where the door opener and tracks have been painted white. People that had to pay for this place are living in trailer houses. Numerous kitchens with high-end appliances, even an industrial dishwasher with the word Zion engraved on the control panel. No expense was spared for Prophet Warren Jeffs, who, from behind prison bars in Texas, dictated the design, colors, and fabrics. One of the men was sent to Scotland to buy a, a, a fabric that was $10,000 a yard. All the furniture's been removed, but this would have been Prophet Warren Jeff's master bedroom. And just off the master suite, there's another room. None of the construction in this room is typical to anything else you saw. You got a cheap carpet, you got walls that have been torn out, you got the floors that have been redone. Willie Jessup is the new owner of the compound. No one in this community knows about this room. He says church leaders quickly changed this room before the auction. He had the windows blotted out, he had a big jacuzzi, he had all this pornography. This is where he acted out. The double standard. It all hinged from right here. This was the Warren Jeffs rape room. Jessup doesn't know yet what he'll do with the dozens of bedrooms, but says getting them away from Jeffs was paramount. That's the win, is that this room has been torn apart and it was never used for what it was designed for, and that's the greatest victory we have.